The class uh, gave me the opportunity to basically um, be exposed to the different modalities, different um, system, and what I need to consider to work on for the future for my project. And just a note of caution that when you are running any 3D applications or the exam software with the 3D probe, to always keep the probe connected. What happens here is that if you are in RF mode, and we want to collect only the RF portion, we would query for the block index one instead of zero. So zero being for the B mode and one being for the RF data. Other than the theoretical background, which I gathered through some of the courses, I didn't have any experimental um, uh, background uh, with Sonics. So this was my first uh, hands-on experiment basically uh, with the ultrasonic uh, system. My most favorite part of the class was the exposure to all of the requirements actually, because um, not only uh, we're going to use the system for our measurements, we're going to have our customized software, customized code. So for me, because I'm going to use Texel, going over the Texel, collecting some data, compiling the code, and looking at the data collected in MATLAB was uh, really useful for me. So let's look at the prototype for this function. But now we need an output buffer of how to process our data. So we set display dimensions. Here at Ultrasonics, we follow the track three guidelines. So you'll see the displays for mechanical and thermal indices depending on the mode used. My name is Sarah Kifayadi. I'm a PhD student at the University of Western Ontario, London, Ontario, Canada. <laughs>